Hello, hello, this is Lady Selock signing in. This is going to be a solemn reaction video and kind of just sharing my thoughts here. Um, I've taken a break from gaming and actually, as of this recording, I was watching live uh, television um, horse racing and I saw a horse go down on live TV. First time that's ever happened since I've been interested in horse racing since 2002 when War Emblem won the Kentucky Derby. Um, this might cause a backlash or whatnot. I really don't care. I just wanted a way to get my thoughts out and whatnot. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos, I'm an animal lover. I'm a cat person, but I love all animals. I've been drawn to horses. Um, I don't own a horse. I've never lived on a ranch, even though I'm from Texas. Um, you know, people associate Texans with horses and cattle and livestock and ranches and oil and whatnot. Um, but I have, you know, a firm appreciation and love of the animal and admiration of the animals, especially thoroughbreds. In particular, you know, horses. Um, my step grandfather was in the show, um, the showmanship aspect of it. He, um, my step grandfather and my grandmother, um, this is on my father's side. Um, they were in the the horse shows and whatnot and arenas and everything. They had a couple of uh, champion Appaloosas, and I remember visiting. Um, Mac, uh, the champion Appaloosa that they had um, growing up, you know, whenever my family and I would visit them in Oklahoma during the summers and during vacations. And um, that's kind of what my appreciation and fondness and love of horses came from um, growing up as a kid and also as a child of the 80s, of course. I don't know of anyone who hasn't heard of My Little Pony, one of the generations, you know, throughout the decades. Um, I had a My, My Little Pony collection. Um, my grandmother, my mom's mom, got me my first My Little Pony, named Medley. Uh, she was a Pegasus, a green Pegasus that had music notes on it. And of course, I love music. Um, thought about going into music, um, into college as a music major, but decided not to. But Anyway, you know, was always a music, you know, mu musically inclined person and whatnot, but that's another story. Anyway, the point is, is that I have always wanted to, you know, um, you know, be appreciative of horses and whatnot, and just that's kind of like my the background and like my where it came from. Um, so when I saw New York Thunder go down earlier today at Saratoga, um. I'm really, really considering not watching races anymore. I've never been to a live track. I've never actually seen a race live in person. I've seen plenty on TV. Um, like I said, the first time I ever saw and really cared about <laughs> seeing is being mesmerized by the excitement and the colors and the horses and the panditry and everything that goes along with it. Um, you know, with horse racing, and this is specifically American thoroughbred horse racing I'm referring to, um, I stopped watching the European jump races ever since I saw a, a horse go down on live television, but this is the first time I've seen, um, a horse go live, uh, go down live in American thoroughbred horse racing, um, and it really gutted me. And I know they take care of those animals with all of their heart. There's so many people involved. And I know it's a sport of kings and I know there's a lot of history behind it and whatnot. Um, and I know they take good care of the horses. You know, there's always this talk about, you know, like how the PETA gets involved and, oh, you know, we need to ban horse racing and whatnot. It's bad for the animal. Every time when a horse goes down and there are accidents um, that happen, mind you, um, it's part of life, it's part of nature, you know, everything happens, but, you know, especially during a live race, I, I don't know, I don't know if I can 
see that happen again. Now you talk about, you know, like the famous horses that have lived on and in the hearts and memories of so many thousands and hundreds and thousands of fans. You know, for example, Ruffian Go for Go for Wand, um, is another horse. I have never I of course obviously that Ruffian's race with the match race and her breakdown happened in nineteen seventy five at a match race. Um would she still be alive if the match race didn't happen? It's hard to say. Maybe that would have saved her life. Maybe she would have broken down in another future race. We may never know. New York Thunder had a um winning record. He was four he was uh he was four for four going in to winning his fifth race and he was on the lead, you know, going down the wire. And it very much reminded me of the video footage. I didn't see all of it, just minor video footage of Go for Wands accident in nineteen ninety. Um, and yeah, I, I, to this day, I don't have the heart to actually watch that race from beginning to end. I actually did watch Ruffian's match race. I had the guts, for lack of a better term, to watch, um, watch a YouTube video. Of course, I wasn't born then, so I didn't see it live on television, but still, it just, it just gutted me so bad. And like I said, now, I... I don't want to go into like my opinions on you know whether race racing is still good or bad or what the deal is or whatnot. But you know, for me personally, I enjoy the sport. I love the history of it. I love learning about things. About learning, learning all kinds of you know, you know, cool trivia and factoids and things. Um, I know a lot of. Um, people that are in the industry photographers owners breeders trainers jockeys you know um not personally but through social media and there's always a ruckus and always an outrage whenever a horse goes down i know last i think it was what last week there was another horse a previous horse that went down there's always this talk about you know like oh we should ban racing and all this that and the other but i just wanted to come out you know and say that you know, I, for me personally, I don't know if I can watch another horse race. Um, I mean, I banned, I, I stopped watching, um, the jumpers. Um, I, whenever I had cable and I was able to access TVG, uh, G, TVG, I think that's what it's called, yeah, TVG. Um, I was watching all kinds of races. They had uh, races from Ireland. They had, uh. American races, obviously, Ireland, Japan, um, it's really interesting, the fact that, too, the Japanese racers, their, their horses go counterclockwise, um, or the opposite of what Americans with their racetracks are, or whatever. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, and even, well, Eight Bells, like, I, yeah, I mean, there's been so many great racehorses that, you know, who's to say they could have, you know, had their lives saved had and they not raced so hard. And of course you can talk about breeding and you can talk about, you know, like, oh, their bones are getting brittle, you know, more brittle and all kinds of stuff. But, um, you know, I, I, it t may take me a while to get over this. And you know what? I think I did see, I don't see, I, I brought it, I took it out of memory and I finally just... I think I did see eight bells go down. I think that was the very first time I saw a live, uh, something happened. No, like I said, it wasn't in person, but it was on TV. Um, yeah. So, in any event, this is the first time in a long while. And I blocked it out of my mind, and I just realized it just right now. Um, but anyway, I didn't want to make this video just to, you know, sh show... My you know, my thoughts and prayers are with the connections and of all the horses that have lost their lives due to what they loved doing, which is running. I mean, it's, you know, it's a natural ability they have. It's what they love to do. And, you know, um, when you have the greats that people remember, and I still feel like there's some that for 
you know, genetics or whatever, for whatever reason, they just aren't meant to be runners. And it's sad and it is an accident and it does happen. But anyway, I just wanted to share and um, comment below. Again, I'm not trying to start any trouble. I'm not trying to take one side or the other. I just am saying what I feel personally and kind of a reaction video, I guess you could say. But anyway, um, negative and mean comments will be removed and you will be banned. Just full warning, you know. But like I said, I just wanted to get this out and share my thoughts and whatnot. Um, good night. I can't, I can't believe that I forgot about 8 Bells. But anyway, I, there's a lot of things that... You know, it's just, it's just sad overall. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. But anyway, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to mention. Um, I was planning on playing some Injustice 2 later on today, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Um, my brain is just, uh But, um... I'm taking a break. Um, I would, I do at some point. I do want to jump into Injustice Two and play some Blue Beetle, just you know, in homage to the movie. I know it's come out. Um, saw it at eighty five, and I saw it last weekend. It was awesome. It was like one of my favorite standalone DC movies. Um, kind of a you know um, <laughs> a reveal a reaction video in a sense about that, but definitely nod to that movie. Go see it if you haven't. Definitely, I recommend it. It's awesome. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite top DC, standalone DC movies. Definitely ranks up there with The Flash and Aquaman. I will say I think Aquaman is my favorite by far so far. And I've seen a lot. Wonder Woman 84 is probably a top five for me. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the, the first Wonder Woman, but I did like... Uh, 84 a whole lot better and I know some people are going to bash me for that whatever yeah it's just <laughs> um I really enjoyed the second one so yeah definitely you know um yeah so anyway I just wanted to make this an end in this video on a um, more positive more happy note like I said condolences to all the um the connections to, of um of the horse that went down today in Saratoga uh New York Thunder and, um, yeah, so there's that, um, more, um, maybe more reaction videos in the future. I haven't really dabbled into it that much, but we'll see. Um, definitely more gameplay going on and, um, maybe some more collection videos, Shira and some other of my collections, but we'll see. I don't know. But anyway, um, hope you are doing good and I'll see y'all later. This is Lady Psylocke signing off.